What is up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alan with you, and we're coming off of a very rough front nine here at Crooked Creek Golf Course. If it's your first time here, um, it, you know, welcome, it's good to have you. We only play kind of mid 80s or so, typically speaking. We have put together some really great rounds on the channel, but typically we shoot in the mid to high 80s. Right now, we're gonna be kind of putting together this back nine to see if we can break 90 as we are currently 10 over. Uh, we're just gonna dig right down into it. Not much to talk about anything else. It's Crooked Creek Golf Club. It's a hidden gem, no website. No promotions on golf now, it's just a mom and pop ran shop and it's a really, really fun course. Uh, we've got a par four playing like 430 coming up, hurting wind, we're gonna take driver. Driver was really bad for us in the front nine. Gotta figure it out, see if we can get it dialed. Now, this one didn't slice the drive, but we are in a very impossible position with these trees. So I'm going to choke up on a three wood here. It's about 210 yards against the wind, but I got to stay low. So I'm going to play this on the back foot and play a chippy three wood here. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. It went to the right side of the fairway rolled a lot, but that's the only play we really had from there. So we'll take it. Yeah, so we ended up kind of coming through the fairway a little bit, but we're in a really good spot here. We got 58 degree, and it looks like the green is kind of moving left to right just a touch. So see if we can stay left of the flag. Well, we kept left of the flag. It didn't want to come down at all. That's not a bad shot though. We'll take that. Let's go. That is a huge up and down to start off this back nine. What a putt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We really needed that. Again, I think the goal here is just gonna try to come and break 90. So that up and down after the scrambling second shot is unbelievable. Par here on 10. All right, good up and down. Now par three opportunity for us. We have a really heavy headwind coming up against us straight into the fan we're shooting this. We got a 160 shot here, but about an extra club and a half worth of a headwind at the moment. So we're gonna take seven iron, play a little back in the stands and try to saw it off. See if we can stay underneath this wind a little bit. Yeah, that worked out well. Kept it exactly at the height that I wanted to. It stayed a little left, but hey, we'll take that shot. We're on one. All right, we got about 30 feet left, give or take. This pin position is kind of on a ridge. Uh, so we got to get up to it, and then it flattens out a little bit, but I think it's going to come right to left as we go up this hill. Hmm. Speed was good, didn't break at all. Parse to start the back nine. Come on, average golfers. The front nine video is not good. We're turning it around here. Next pull up, pretty short par four, slight dog leg to the right. It's really just an offset green, not really too much of an actual dog leg. Driver should be fine again. We're still playing a little bit into the wind here. And the line is gonna be towards this house that you see kind of in the distance, just off the left side of kind of like the main actual living space. This is a really overcomplicated uh, ex explanation. We're going towards the trees that are coming in the distance. <laughs> egregious slice on that again, but we're in play. Uh, we got 130 in the nose, bunker to carry. I got 50 degree, full swing should get us there. So trust it, hopefully we don't thin it. That looks really good. Whoa. Nice shot. Be, I think really, really good. Felt great about the contact, let's go. Come on. 
you know, the funny thing about this, we were playing with one of our subs, Dakota, on the front nine. He had to go, had a car thing to deal with with his wife. Uh, Dakota, <laughs> should have stuck around, buddy. <laughs> par par birdie to get our first three in the back nine going. We got a very scoreable par five, I think, coming up next, too. Let's get at it. All right, par five. Next one up for 13. 481 and there's a speed slope. If I can get to the top of the hill, which is only about 260 or so yards, we should have that, especially with a little bit of helping wind. Um, biggest thing here, hit driver straight. We cannot afford to slice or duck hook something. Down the fairway, down the fairway is what we need. Ah, pushing it to the right. I got like 175 here. Uh, the wind is kind of crosswind, but kind of helping. And with the descended green that you might not be able to see much of besides the flag, uh, we're gonna take seven iron here. Good contact. Rolled right on me. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like back right side of the green. Just kind of pushed it a little bit, kept the face open. Not great piece of contact, but we got up and down. All right, we ended up well right of the green. Got 58 degree. Let's try to get something on. These greens are rolling really hard, so let's see. Oh, a little long, we'll take it. <laughs> All right. All right, solid start to the back nine. We got par four here, dog laid to the left of the creek guarding. Wind is coming steep against today, so no chance to kind of cover that river. Got three wood just playing on the right side somewhere. Let's see if we can hit straight. All right, we slipped into this tall grass here, so we're taking a drop as hazard. Hitting three. We got about 155 with a lot of headwind, so I'm gonna take an extra club here, play eight iron, and let's hope this tree doesn't get in our way. Well, it didn't get in the way when you go under it. Sit. That's gonna roll long, but cut the tree out of play. All right, so we rolled long. Ball's sitting up really nice though. We can actually get under this pretty nicely. So I'm gonna open the face. Let's see if we can just land something close and have it sit. That'd be ideal. Yeah, not bad. Got that for bogey. it up there. Easing it up there. All right, tough double there after the penalty, but such is life. Um, we've got ourselves par three, playing about 155 to this pin. Looks like that wind is kind of helping a little bit on towards the green. I'm taking pitching wedge here, just gonna hit a full shot. See how it goes. That's right, giddy up, sit there. You must have hit a bad rock in that cart pass, dude. <laughs> that what? finished left of the bunker. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, up and down try again. Um, we just have to carry this first mound. It's gonna run down towards the hill. So if we land something in the fringe, that would actually probably be preferred. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is exactly how we drew it up. Oh, it's gonna dive on me. Oh, gear. 
All right, a couple more to play here. Number 16 is playing 415 yards, dead straight on. Would love to be able to hit driver the same. So that's what we got in hand. Uh, not really a lot of danger on this hole. Uh, misses obviously more right than left, which isn't a problem for our slice. So here we go. Jeez Louise. That might not be okay. Oh, <laughs> it almost bounced over the bunker. That was going to be so good. It's out. Ugly, but it's out. Slow down. Hit the pin. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice, dude. <laughs> Thank God that pin is a that's off the green. All right, two to play here. And uh, after the good start, we're starting to get back on that bogey train. This is a scoreable hole though. It's playing about 320, helping wind. And there is uh, kind of an island green situation here. There's a big moat kind of in front of the green that wraps around it. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a safe play, just play about a four hybrid here, taking for about like a 210 yard shot. Should leave us about 100 in. We want it. Okay. All right, 100 yards. Got some sprinklers to work through. With the helping wind, I'm gonna go 58, hitting about three quarter shot. Hopefully we can get something up there close. That's so bad. Just stay short of the water, give me a third shot. Okay. <laughs> Strategic way up. God, that was bad. out a lot. I don't know how to get spin on shots like that. I know a lot of people do. I don't really know how to do it. I should take a lesson or something. Uh, but we'll take that. Big opportunity missed, but we could still make par. Okay, so I just took a look at the card for the first time. After the plus 10 front, we're just 13 over right now, I think. 13 or 14 over, uh, which is solid. Finishing off, we got a big par five, playing a 565 as the back back box is open today. Um, driver's gotta go straight, we have a huge helping win. So it's green light special, insert heavy rock music here. Let's hit something straight. pretty indetermined distance here, but the front of the green is playing around 240, so we're gonna go for it here at three wood. No reason not to. Let's see, one good shot here. We didn't use the wind at all. But it's gonna roll up, not be bad. We'll take it. Man, I just really feel good with this 58 in my hand. Give it a chance. All right. Hard to finish, not bad. All right, the average golfer's awkward situation. My outro file got corrupted, so we'll be doing it from the studio. 85 was the number. After the front nine, we're looking to break 90, and we did a pretty solid job of keeping the back nine more than in grips. Driver's been a little weird for us, but the good news is we're trying to counter that pretty much as we speak as I'm going through this editing process. Just got off a couple of the trips. So coming up next, make sure you subscribe right now if you're enjoying the content, because we got a round from Vegas. We've got a four-man scramble and a 2v2 scramble coming from Bear 
Bears Best in Vegas. And then I played one of the best courses in Toronto. And it was also one of the most difficult courses that I've played yet. So we'll see what we shoot there. So sub, come on back. And until next time, make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.